Hey, and welcome to Thursday Thought Today. Um, so Thursday Thought Today, a bit like my Monday motivation really, was inspired very much by something we did at the weekend. So me and my fishy family um, decided that we would have a swim around the coast um, to Yuli's farm um, and then have some breakfast and then either swim or walk back. Um, so um, a couple of points on that oh my god it is amazing how have i never looked underneath the sea at bowley's it is phenomenal there's so much life honestly i was like a i mean obviously you know i dive anyway so i was like standing up going oh my god oh my god i've seen a fish i've seen loads of fish oh my god it's so 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 good there's so much sea life seagrass when the seagrass there are seahorses um kelp um soft corals oh, was, anyway that's not what this um this thursday thought is about but if you are local to wayworth and um you haven't got your snorkel or your goggles out and um just had a little uh, little poodle off uh, bowlees get it done tick list for the summer it's so warm as well so you know you can um so that's by the by um but uh, <laughs> when we got there, you know, just loads of chats amongst our friends has inspired my Monday motivation um, about nutrition just being these tiny little tweaks and adjustments and switching them in as we were talking about lots of bits and bats from hydration to sugar addiction to everything. So that was great. But also then we went for breakfast and um, there's obviously not necessarily a lot on offer there in terms of what you can have there are croissants there are um waffles there are um yeah nothing you know that i would normally have to eat um but you know i had a croissant i love croissants they're great okay so we'd done this mile swim obviously out to yuli's farm um off the back of obviously Kim, the ode to Kim Fudge and her amazing work that she's done helping some local families have a great holiday over there. So we went out, we swam out to see Kim and, and, and quite a few other people that were staying there uh, and had this breakfast. So I had an almond croissant and it was very nice. And what I noticed about this almond croissant is I know we'd done a mile swim. But I was it had not even touched the sides. I was absolutely starving still. So um, Keith had bought um, some pan chocolates as well. So I had uh, half a pan chocolate and, and I was still starving. And um, they, they were like, oh, you know, there's more if you want more. And I'm like, do you know what? No, I'm not going to have any more. Because what I realised in that moment is pan chocolates, almond croissants, croissants, stuff like that. They're really great, they're lovely, they taste fantastic. Um, however, they're not breakfast. They're not good enough to be breakfast. They're not substantial enough, they're not nutritional enough, they're not, they can't do what a good, what I'm used to having, a good nutritional whole grain, um, plant fuel breakfast um, does for you it fills you up it fills you up nutritionally it fills you up fibrously it fills you up um just wholly you know you're satisfied it tastes good as well so you know i end up being satisfied from in my taste buds from my body feeling fueled um and you know nutritionally as well there's just no way in a million years that i can ask a croissant to do that for me you know it isn't um it just isn't it's full of sugar and it's full of refined carbs and and, and, and butter um it's just not gonna do that for me what it is gonna do is taste delicious um and be a lovely lovely treat um but don't ask it to do something that it can't do it can't be a wholesome nutritious breakfast that your body will thank you for so i think I could have quite easily, if I was trying to get it to be something it wasn't, as in a nutritious breakfast, eat six. And and just God knows how many calories and fat um, six would have been. But yeah, I, I, I didn't want six, um, yet my body could have quite easily eaten six and still not be satisfied how it 
needs to, wants to be, and requires to be fueled. Um, so yeah, that was it really. So I stopped at one and a half and got home and had a really, really healthy, nutritious brunch um, when I got home and felt great rather than how I would have felt if I'd have eaten the amount that I would have need to have eaten to feel remotely full. <laughs> so what is the moral of today's Thursday thought? I suppose, you know, I, I enjoyed my, my one and a half croissants. They, they, it was nice, but no way could it have been a breakfast. And I think that's very much the theme of a lot of fast, convenient, um, dopamine delicious, uh, fast sugar fuel food out there, quick, convenient food. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's not going to fuel you. Um, you. You have to give your body the right things. Those things are great as a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a treat, you know, enjoy them, but accept them for what they are and don't ask them to do something that they can't. So don't ask them to fulfill you and um, be a breast breakfast substitution because you will just end up either overeating or feeling so hungry um, you, you, you know, your body will almost go into starvation mode and be craving extra things and that might not be great things. So waffle over, hope you are enjoying this beautiful weather and getting out there and doing some fab stuff. And um, yeah, have a think about that. And um, yeah, I shall see you soon. Happy Thursday, everyone.